hereditary angioedema first question is what is angioedema angioedema is a self limited localized swelling of skin or mucosal tissues which results from extravasation of fluid into the interstitium due to loss of vascular integrity angioedema may occur in isolation or accompanied by urticaria which are also known as hives or as a component of anaphylaxis generally there are four types of angioedema allergic angioedema non allergic angioedema idiopathic angioedema and hereditary angioedema we will discuss now hereditary angioedema genetic predisposition of hereditary angioedema hereditary angioedema is a, is an autosomal dominant trait which is caused by mutations in the serping 1 gene that leads to decreased plasma levels of functional c1 inhibitor pathophysiology of hereditary angioedema it occurs due to deficiency or malfunction of c1 esterase inhibitor also known as c1 inhibitor or simply c1-inh it is made in the liver under genetic control bradycardin is the principal reason for the symptoms of angioedema in hereditary angioedema bradycardin is produced by activated contact kinin system this system is physiologically controlled at many steps by c1 inhibitor which inhibits it deficiency of c1 inhibitor causes over activation of the contact kinin system which causes over production of bradycardin this bradycardin binds to the b2 receptors of the vascular endothelium releasing the substance p which causes increased vascular permeability decreasing the vascular integrity this causes the release of uh, fluid into the interstitial spaces causing angioedema leads to swelling of face hands feet throat stomach bowels or genitals previously we have discussed the types of angioedema general angioedema now we are discussing the types of hereditary angioedema there are three types type 1 hereditary angioedema has the pathology of low levels of c1 inhibitor protein type 2 hereditary angioedema has the pathology of dysfunctional c1 inhibitor protein type 3 hereditary angioedema is the newly discovered type which is uh, found in estrogen dependent inherited form so it occurs mainly in women and it has normal functional and quantitative levels of c1 inhibitor protein type 1 hereditary angioedema has normal c1 inhibitor protein it is not dysfunctional type 2 has dysfunctional and type 1 hereditary angioedema is also known as quinquez edema investigation of a patient with hereditary angioedema will reveal reduced complement c4 level and reduced c1 esterase inhibitor level as shown by the pathology of it so we, if we get a patient who has angioedema without associated urticaria so we must do c4 level as a screening test and c1 esterase inhibitor level as a definitive test especially for type 1 hereditary angioedema who has significantly reduced levels of c1 esterase inhibitor with what symptoms will the patient of hereditary angioedema present patients with this condition have lifelong c1 inhibitor deficiency so they will be characterized by recurrent episodes of angioedema involving the skin or mucosa of upper respiratory or urinary tracts this angioedema will occur without urticaria which also known as hives although the swelling resolves spontaneously self limiting in 2 to 4 days but it may lead to complications if it occurs in two specific locations like in case of laryngeedema it may cause fatal asphyxiation and if it occurs in gid pain of gid attacks may be incapacitating and lead to unnecessary abdominal surgery treatment of hereditary angioedema is based on three principles treatment of acute angioedema attacks short term prophylaxis and long term prophylaxis principle number 1 treatment of acute angioedema attacks following four drugs can be used theoretically number 1 purified plasma derived human c1 esterase inhibitor concentrate number 2 acatiban acetate which is a bradycardin b2 receptor antagonist number 3 eclantide which is it which is a inhibitor of protein calicrine of the contact system number 4 recombinant recombinant human c1 esterase inhibitor principle number 2 for short term prophylaxis we will use purified plasma derived human c1 esterase inhibitor concentrate theoretically theoretically for long term prophylaxis we can use following four drugs number 1 tranexamic acid number 2 danazol which is a synthetic steroid 
नंबर थ्री आई वी एंड सबक्यूटेनियस नैनो फिल्टर प्योरफाइड प्लाज्मा डिराइव्ड ह्यूमन सीवन एस्ट्रेस इनहिबिटर कंसनट्रेट नंबर फोर लनाडिलोमैप विच इज़ अ मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडी दैट बाइंड्स एंड इनहिबिट्स कैलिक्राइन ऑफ द कॉन्टैक्ट सिस्टम